I was just reading through your writing, Shania. Um, adding more detail on the leaves, that's awesome. The leaves, the foliage looks amazing. I'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to do more with the elephants. I agree. Uh, I'm not loving the trunks. I agree with that as well. How little detail they have. I'm finding elephants are a little hard to create lifelike effect because of all the wrinkles. I totally agree. I changed. So you're writing. I mean, you're spot on. I mean, everything that I was thinking, you're writing. So good job. I changed the font to Gil. Gil Sands, great font. I think that's a good choice. I might make a change to that after I do more research on, fine, on fonts. Absolutely. Um, if you find a better selection, by all means, you can change them again. going to help add some depth because of detail. I look forward to it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. So again, I think it's a really just, it's a really compelling piece. I think it's beautiful. Um, the foliage is gorgeous. I really think it's, it's, it's you've, you've done some interesting things where the foliage is not meant to be lifelike, right? It's just meant to provide a nice level of engagement and also add some depth and dimension to the piece, which it does. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, see how you've got the, the little veins in some of these leaves. I would continue that and, and all of the leaves. I think that really adds a high level of engagement. So, um, okay, now the, I, I wanna talk about the relationship of the type and the color of the type. I think this is good. I, I think this is good. And I think that you don't really have much of a choice besides placing this in a, in a box. Um, that's okay because of the textured background is, is gonna be difficult to place type right on there. So the box is, I consider it to be necessary, right? Um, now, one thing I think we can do with the, the type is right now the elephant, the type that's set in pure black is advancing, really advancing in the composition, too much so. I think we can we can uh, rectify that by doing something. I think that's going to be a really interesting little technique. And I, I, I think I, I'd like that you to try this and let me know what you think. Okay, you see the white for the ivory. So the white for the ivory, I think if we take this and... and um, we take this white for the ivory and we kind of transpose it and maybe into a, like a cream color and then use that same cream color, not too dark. You definitely want it to be a highlight, but then you take that color and you use the same color for um, your type. And that's going to draw an immediate connection between ivory, the subject and the type, right? So that's going to be a really interesting technique. Now, right now the configuration of the elephants is a little odd because poor little guy looks like he's about to get poked in the eye with a, with the tusk. Um, so that's probably something that we want to maybe reconfigure that. I love the way that the little baby elephant is kind of nudging and nestling with the, with the, the mother elephant. That's really neat and very compelling. Um, but we might want to reconfigure that a little bit so the little guy doesn't get poked in the eye with mom's tusk. Um, these are just too regular. These shapes on the nose, they're, they're geometric and they should be organic. So I would re, rethink the way that you... You develop that, that and also you want to create texture in some of the other areas and try, try to create some detail in the ears and some some separation and some just separation of the body parts itself i think that the elephants themselves are lacking a little bit in contrast so um you might consider a, a black stroke and then trying to develop areas like the ears and you know what i did something i went out and i just did this google search and this is perfectly fine for for um uh, designers to do visual research. But what we did, I just went like this. I just went over here and I said, Illustrator Elephant Tutorial. And here's some really interesting techniques. And these are all tutorials too, so that's pretty cool. Um, another thing we could do, and there's some, some neat ideas here for you too. I saw another one down here, where was it? I can't remember, just take a look, you'll see what I mean. And then another thing you could do is just say Illustrator, just say elephant illustration. And then you'll get some more really interesting ideas. So the first Google search was just uh, illustrator elephant tutorial. The second was um, uh, illustrator elephant illustration. So you get some good ideas there. And I think you're doing a really great job so far. Fantastic. Um, if you have any questions at all, I'd like to see those, those changes reflected in your final your final piece. Um, yeah, looking really good. All right. So if you have any questions at all, if I can provide any clarifications, please let me know. But uh, peace is coming along beautiful. I can't wait to see this one come to its final state. Okay. Again, of course, any questions at all, please let me know. Great. Thank you.